In Stage Builder, platforms have walls by default, and it's very annoying, uh, but there is a way to get rid of those walls completely. And I already have a video about this, but this is just going to be a very simple, concise resource, unlike the other one. So I'm going to break it down into steps. So step one, uh, this, is, this is what I call preparing the platform. I prefer to make a square at first, and you'll see why. Hold L to make sure that it stays perfectly square. And then you make a line just like that. That's one unit long. And go all the way to the bottom of the square. Right here. And then down one, just like the other side. Uh, you can delete the square. And you don't you don't need the square, but it's a good reference just to keep it going exactly 45 degrees. You could do it without it, especially if you're completely maxed out in the stage weight, just like this. And then down, you know, just if you need to do that. Next step, you remove the grid and shrink it to about the size you want it to be. And it's important that if you want your platform to be small, you need to prepare it small. But if you want it to be long like this, then you make it long like this. You prepare it in a long way. So you shrink it and make sure you hold L. You shrink it until it flattens out at, these, uh, at the edges. Now if it looks like this, then you know that it's not quite right. So you just need to keep shrinking it while holding L until it uh, until it looks like this. Now if you make it too small, it will also, it'll get these little uh, toenail looking things, which are bad. You don't want these little spiky things because uh, it'll actually bring back the walls. Like that's grabbable. If it's grabbable, it has walls, basically. You don't need to get it to an exact perfect size that there is a window where it'll work and then you can just tell as long as it's flat like this but okay next step this is very important hold L with no grid on you have to make sure you there's no grid hold L grab this rotation point and then move it you know if there's a grid uh, which is probably the most common mistake with this you rotate it and it looks like that and then it's not perfectly straight so yeah no grid rotate it and then that's it and unfortunately, they force you to do that with every platform, unless you want walls. It just works like how a normal Smash stage would work, except it has these little tiny slopes. But that's not a big deal. Okay, thank you for watching. If you want a more complex tutorial that goes into detail about how to make them sloped or different shapes, there's a stage builder guide that covers just generally everything and linked in the description. It's a Google document. I also have an older video that I made when this trick was discovered. You can check out that one. And thanks for watching. Bye.